Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. We are in the middle of Android application development video lectures. In this lecture, we will be learning about Android Toast. Before I move on and, and explain Toast to you, I would like to ask you, have you ever seen a Toast? Obviously you would have, but you would not have been able to relate to it. Let me show you what a Toast is. Have you ever seen such a small screen coming up over here on your screen? Such a, such a small pop-up? Yes. You would have seen this when, we, when you would have been, you know, saving a message or when you were sending a mail. These toasts come up and as a small information to the user. Now, why do we use a toast actually? This toast is just to tell user that yes, this thing is being done. That's it. There's nothing more to add to it. Now, where and when can we see this toast? If let me give you a very, some common examples that we have been using in real life. Whenever you get an incoming call, or whenever a message is delivered or whenever I say my mail has been sent, I say my game has been paused. At such point, we get a toast to inform the user about something. Now, let's see what a toast actually is and how can we actually work on a toast. So, a toast is small information shown to the user. That is, the work is to display the information for some short period of time. Obviously, the time can be managed in our own ways. As a developer, you can give for what duration you want to show the toast. Then, the toast is extended or it's coming up from the java.lang.object class. The, and the toast class is coming from android.widget.toast. If you are using the toast, you need to make sure that you are importing this particular package. This package is derived from the, from the java.lang.object class. Now, how do we actually get a toast or how do we actually make a toast? To make a toast, we need to use the make text method of a toast. This is the make text method of a toast. Now, what does this make text method will have? This make text method will have three important parts. The first part is the context, the second part is the text, and third part is the duration. Now, what are these three parameters? Let's look into them. I think text would be very, very well and very much clear to you. First, let's start with context. Context is nothing but, you know, like when I say that in which context or at what level I want to, you know, use my uh, or at what level I want to show the uh, toast to the user or at what level I want to, you know, pass the values. So this is basically nothing but, you know, returning the context for all the activities. When this is application, the context is written for all the activities. When we make it as activity, then it is for only for one activity. And when we are writing for base or the get base context, then we get the context for the entire, you know, for the entire uh, parent class or the, you know, the super class of this uh, activity from which we are calling this one. Now, next is a text. See, you can pass the text in double quotes like this or you can use a small string, the Java string to give your text like string str equal to hello world. Now you can pass this str in this, in this text and this would be showing hw to the user. Now the third and the last, uh, and the last unit parameter is the duration. What is the duration? Duration is something that is shown to the user for how much time we are having by default we are having two durations it is length long and length short since you can clearly observe that these things are in capital these they mean that they are some constants that have been predefined by the android library we have these two durations and we generally show the toast for these durations only they come up from the toast class which is having these two these two uh, static constants now the last is the show Whatever we have created till now in this method has to be shown to the user. Now, how do we show this thing to the user? We show this thing to the user using the dot show method or the show method, which is called on this toast and will show this view for a particular amount of time. Now, let's have a quick, uh, you know, a quick example wherein we can see the toast. See, so this is a toast example wherein we have made a toast and we are making the text out of it. We are getting the context from the toast and we are passing some text. You can see that in this one, I'm using a text in double quotes the way we pass strings in Java. And then I'm giving the length as length long and I'm passing the show over here. So 
this is a normal toast the toast which we which you know which we can show very easily or you know very very simple in a simple one liner toast now this is not limited to this one we can actually make the toast extend or we can make the toast go more out of it how we can actually customize the toast now how do we customize the toast okay what do we mean by customization customization simply means changing some parameters or some adding something like if i say that if you if we go and have pizza we say let me customize the vegetables i want on the pizza in a similar way when we try and customize the toast then we see okay like okay this is the duration i want i am passing it in proper milliseconds i want toast to be on the on the top left hand or top right hand side of the screen i say toast should be on the bottom of the screen or it should be in the center of the screen these all things can be managed in our own ways now let's see how do we do that for that we can set the very first is duration to for duration we have a set duration method in which we pass the integer values of the time we want to say like i want to pass in some seconds or in may this is generally in may seconds the next is gravity okay what do we mean by gravity by gravity i mean at what position of the screen i want my toast to be shown by position i simply mean i want my toast like if this is my screen i want my to show toast on the left on the right in the top or in the center or in the right these all things can be customized and help you modify your toast this is not limit to this one the the best part about gravity being that along with the gravity like you know like gravity top gravity left you can even pass some offsets offsets means that at what this would be a exact location where you would be showing the toast now if you see properly like this one this particular point of the screen is 0 0 so you can pass your offset from here and show for what amount of time you want to show the toast so after the toast is the point wherein we set the margins i say that you know that margin are of two are of uh, are also having two parameters one is a horizontal margin and second is a vertical margin the type of these margins are float in nature you can you can pass these margins as float margin float horizontal and float vertical they will set the margins of the view of which you want to show the toast this will help you customize the toast and would be able to uh, change the toast or have it in your own way now let's have a example wherein we are trying to customize the toast so this is my toast here what this is the toast class i am making the object of this class after making the object i am using the toast class method make text to actually get the things in the right order i am getting the context i am getting the text of the toast and i am getting the length of the toast after this i can add something now whenever i am adding customizations to my toast i have to make sure i am doing it on this particular object so on this object toast dot set gravity i am setting the gravity as top you can see this is in capital it means it's a constant and these are if you remember x offset and y offset respectively so we are passing it as x offset and y offset we pass them and we are able to get the work done now what we do we simply call the toast dot show this would be showing the toast for the short duration of time on this particular gravity with this text this all is done by creation of a view and this show will be will be calling that view for that amount of time so this is all about the theory for toast now let's have a quick hands on session where we would be seeing how toast is working and how we can modify it and how what are the parameters we can pass in it hello guys welcome again now as we have already seen how the toast was running you know what is the code of the toast how do we make a toast you know we have seen that how do we customize in this tutorial now after coming online we would be seeing how do i actually get and make a toast for my application so what i do i opened up my project in which i was having a toast this project is you know <clears throat> it will be having the 
this project will be having the entire details wherein we would be coming by a step by step behavior and step by step approach of actually having a toast involved now what we do is that in simple terms we actually make up we open up the main activity.java file it is present in the application in java here is our main activity.java after opening this one in the in this in the on grid method only i write toast dot make text get application context just a sample toast toast dot length long dot show now what this method will do this method will simply help me make a toast of a sam just a sample toast on my screen let me run and see that how this method behaves see it shows just a sample toast right so the length was long so it was it, it will be shown for some longer period otherwise it will, be, it will be shown for a very small period now as i've already explained you right like in the in, in my session or in my uh, video lecture that we can even customize a toast now how do we customize a toast we can customize a toast by say setting some gravity like what i do is i write the to i write it in this way toast dot set gravity this all can be my gravity i choose it as right and i pass the offset so here the toast would be on the right position now let me run this one for you just a sample toast hello toast new toast right it's in the right now let me run it on the top i read in the project i see the toast on the top now let me pass some offset if you look there is a position on which the toast is coming it's different from the last one right so these things actually help us to modify our toast but you know going by the simple terms or going by the by the terms or by the way we actually code we don't actually use up customization of toast much because the toast is placed in such a pleasant position that it doesn't disturbs the user so we try to keep the normal uh, normal position only and if we want some interaction with the user or we want that the user should click and then we should get something for that purpose we actually use the notifications no don't worry about notifications that would be covered up in the coming lectures so as of now this was all for toast we have been able to make a simple toast and a toast which has been which we were able to customize it set some gravity onto it so and uh, stay tuned as we take you through the next activity life cycle